Hey everyone, so just a few months back, I created a tutorial for Premium Beats blog all about creating basic stop motion animation shots. Now in that particular tutorial, I focused on a lot of production techniques, such as how to light the shot, how to shoot it, you know, camera position, camera angle, and also how to edit together an image sequence. Now I shot 50 images, which I edited together at 10 frames per second, giving me a five second shot. Now, this was a lot of work to create a five second shot. Let's say you're working on a project where all the video is already shot, but you wanna apply that same blocky stop motion animation look. Well, it's super easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how we can do that now inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so I'm inside of Adobe Premiere Pro here, and I have a shot of a carousel, and it pans over to reveal the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So I wanna give this that stop motion blocky animation look. So to do that, first I'm gonna go to Window, and I'm gonna select the Effects panel. And if I open up the video effects folder and then go down to the time folder, you'll see right here it says posterize time. Now this is the effect I want. Now another way I could find this is just to type it in the search bar here, type in posterize, and just make sure you don't accidentally grab the stylized version. We want to make sure we have posterize time. So now I'm going to click this, drag it, and drop it on my shot here. Now this effect is going to allow me to lock my clip in to a specified frame rate. So to do that, I'm gonna open up the Effect Controls panel and select the clip. Now, if you can't see that, go to Window and select the Effect Controls panel here. Now, if you look down here, it says Posterize Time. Now, I can even add a mask, uh, you know, a custom mask if I want. And then down here, I can specify the frame rate. So now, once again, that last shot that I created in the previous tutorial was 10 frames per second. I'm gonna go even a little bit lower. I'm gonna take this down to eight frames. And so there you go, really quickly I've added this blocky look. And one thing you wanna know is when you're working on shots here, you wanna have like a fast shutter speed, you want it to be in sharp focus, because if you have a lot of motion blur on some shots, this effect might not work so well. Now I could just leave things here and go with this look, but there's a lot of creative possibilities. So I wanna show you a couple of things you can do. One of the first things you could do is you could create an old film camera look, you know, with this low frame rate. And let me show you how we can quickly do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna remove this uh, posterized time and I'm actually gonna add an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go over here to this new item button. I'm gonna select adjustment layer and then I'm gonna drop that over top of my clip here and then I'm gonna add that posterized time back to my adjustment layer. Now this will be really good if I'm working on you know a lot of clips that I wanna apply this effect to. So I'm gonna go back to effect controls, set this to eight and now I'm gonna open up the Lumetri color panel and just quickly give this a look. So I'm gonna to go to creative. So now I'm gonna make a quick custom look. I'm gonna add this faded film look, turn the sharpness and the vibrance down, completely desaturate it. And then I'll go and add a vignette. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is looking really good, and with just a few extra effects, I could pull off this look that this was shot in the early 20th century. You can also use the posterized time effect to get some cool results with your motion graphics projects. So here I've gone to the Essential Graphics panel, and I found a Mogart template, and I specifically found one that's listed as Fluid. And let's see what it looks like. I've applied the posterized time effect to this one on the bottom here, and I've set the frame rate to 8. So now let's see the difference here. Here's 8 frames per second. And here's 24. All right, so there you have it. There's how you can quickly apply a blocky stop motion animation look to your videos in Premiere Pro. Now, if you're creating the stop motion look in a different way, please let me know in the comments section how you do it, or if you're using posterized time for something else, I'd love to hear about it in the comments section. And if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.